Hello America, this is Keith, your friendly neighborhood technician, coming back at you with some more wonderful information this week. Last week we talked about regular stainless. This week we're going to talk about how to clean black stainless. And yes, people are smoke stainless, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's just the, it's the not light stain, obviously. This is stainless and this is stainless, okay? To go over what we went over last time. This is not true stainless steel. It is basically a piece of metal that has been coated with stainless steel and is also now colored, okay? So, it's, you know, stainless steel, don't get me wrong, but it's not full, thick, 100% stainless steel, otherwise this would be about another 75 to 100 pounds, which means you wouldn't move it, okay? So let's start with the beginnings, okay? This is gonna represent any kind of cleaner that has a grittiness to it. And what I mean by grittiness is if you take it, put a little bit on your finger, and you rub your finger together, you're gonna feel something grainy, okay? This is a no-no. Do not use this. You will scratch that. You may get lucky once, you may get lucky even twice, but it's eventually going to put scratches in your stainless, okay? Just like regular stainless, black stainless or smoke stainless, whichever you wanna call it, has grains to it. And actually, I don't know if you can see it, but there's actual grains. These ones happen to be going uh, vertical, okay, on these grains, okay? or some of the stainless actually goes horizontal, vertical, find out what it is. If you don't know, find out before we start rubbing, okay? Now, like I said, this is actually black stainless. So now, obviously we're not using Comet or anything like that that actually has any grit to it, okay? The best thing to use is not necessarily this one, but a stainless steel cleaner of your choice. Now, to find out if you like the stainless steel, First thing I want to do is I want to find a very inconspicuous spot. Okay, I'm going to do right up here. Okay, I'm going to put just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to rub with the grain. This rain happens to be going vertical. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to rub and see if I like the way it looks. Is it nice? Is it clean? Does it leave a residue on those things? Okay, obviously it doesn't damage the stainless. If it damages stainless, obviously that's why you don't want to just blow it on. Find a small, inconspicuous spot and like within try. So, now that we know it works, or it's not gonna do any damage, okay? Now, like I said, our grain on this is horizontal. So, you know, you don't have to, you know, put massive, massive amounts on there. Just enough to, you know, get it to where it's, it's gonna clean. Now, obviously, this one isn't nearly as dirty as a house with a family of three or four, and you want to rub side, you know, with the grain, okay? And just rub it, okay, until it's gone, okay? Until it's nice and clean, okay? Don't use circular motions, don't do this, and don't do stuff like this. Even though there's no grit to it, if you start doing really hard with the points of your finger, you're gonna start rubbing it away. And then you're gonna have a dull spot. And then you're gonna start trying to fix that dull spot. That dull spot is gonna turn into a dull patch. That dull patch turns into a dull door. So it's just, you know, back and forth with the grain, okay? And it will actually, your stainless steel will come out nice. If you have a spot that's got a little, you know, more ick to it, put a little more on. And then just, you know, lightly rub it. Don't start going icky. And whatever you do, don't scrape. That's a no-no. The hardest thing you want to use is either going to be your fingernail, okay, which you can use your fingernail on it gently and you can scrape it off, okay, or what they have are plastic razor blades, okay. Those aren't bad also, but see how I've actually made a smudge there because there was something there that was sticking. I don't know if you see the little smudge right there. Like I said, I'm trying to get that off with my fingertips and I got it materially up and now I want to get the rest of the way, so dab a little more cleaner on there. Okay, and just rub it. Like I said, be careful not to start doing a lot of this, okay? It will come up. It may take a couple of times, but take your time. Treat it right because you spent a lot of money on this. And voila, we now have a clean spot on the fridge. Now, some of you are going to ask, well, what else can I use? Well, like I said, this is going to be Goo Gone. It's a very good thing. Goo Gone would have taken that off a lot easier. Goo Gone is really good for taking icky, sticky stuff off. So like I said, you can use Goo Gone on it, but you're still gonna clean it the same way. Obviously, we get an industrial sized bottle, so we have to bring it down. You can get a little bottle of Goo Gone at the store. Wonderful thing for taking off tape. 
So when you get this home and you've got a lot of tape, Goo Gone works well, but you still clean it the same way. It's with the grain and Goo Gone has a nice little smell to it. Okay. Now the difference between stainless steel and Goo Gone, sometimes Goo Gone, if used too heavily, will actually leave a little fine residue on there. Okay. If you don't mind that, gives it kind of a little bit of a wet look. Okay. But it, you know, has, there is a film with it, a very, very slight film. You really can't get that off. Okay, it doesn't, it just, you know, will eventually evaporate, but there'll still be a little stick there. And it might attract, you know, excess dust if you got pets or stuff like that. It could do it, okay? The other option people use is Windex or an ammonia based window cleaner, okay? The reason they don't do it in the glass is because glass is non porous. Believe it or not, this surface is actually is porous. Not heavily porous, but it is slightly porous. So, if I put this on there and I wipe it off, I'm going to start slowly eating away at my gloss coating, okay? That's why I wouldn't recommend it. Now, can you use it? Yes. Should you use it? That's up to you. I would recommend not because the more you use it, the more chance you have of actually eating off the clear coat that actually keeps this thing the way it is, okay? So, and also, your choice of material. I prefer and I recommend the microfiber cloths. You can use other stuff. I just like microfiber because it's very, very soft, doesn't hold on. Now also, make sure you have a clean cloth. If you have a cloth that you used a little bit ago that doesn't look dirty, it might not be, but it may have something stuck in it. And the moment I have something in here, like a rock or something like that or something, and I go like this, I have just put a scratch in that. That ain't coming out, okay? Yes, there are stuff that can redo stainless. Unless you have the patience of, you just, I don't have the patience for it. I don't have the capacity to sit there and re, you know, do my stainless. I wouldn't recommend that because most people are going to damage your stainless more than they're not. So like I said, take your time, take it easy, and your stainless will maintain its brightness and beauty for as long as you can take care of it. Thank you very much, and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and next week we're going to find out, can I take my matte finish and polish it to a shine? We're going to try. So don't forget to tune in next week. Have a good day.